Following up from our recent review of the Ace PC Pico Box Mini, it's now the turn of its bigger brother, the Pico Box Pro. First in the box, we have a user manual, which is in multiple languages, including English, French, and German. Next, we have the Ace PC Pico Box Pro Mini PC itself. We will take a closer look at it in a moment. Inside the cardboard box is a power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country. There is a HDMI cable for connecting to your TV or monitor. And we finish with a visa mount and screws for attaching it. The Ace PC Pico Box Pro measures around 5.04 by 5.04 by 2.03 inches and weighs around 386 grams. The right side has a power button, two USB 3 and one USB 2 ports for connecting peripherals to. The back from left to right has the power port, a USB 2 port, two HDMI ports for up to 4K dual display, a gigabit ethernet port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. The base contains a space for a 2.5 inch SATA R drive or SSD. It is very easy to fit, simply unscrew and lift the lid. You can then insert your drive, replace the lid and screws and you are good to go. There are also two sliding locks which when unlocked you can separate the base from the main mini PC which is handy if travelling for example. When powered on the LED lighting shows around the top area of the mini PC. The lighting can be configured in the software and allows for different patterns of brightness as well as switching it off if it is distracting. The Ace PC Pico Box Mini uses the Intel N100 CPU with 4 cores and 4 threads running up to 3.4 GHz at 6 watts TDP. For RAM and storage there is a choice of 16 gigs DDR4 and 512 gigs or 1TB M.2 SSD supporting up to 2TB. For communications there is Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 as well as the Gigabit Ethernet port. Whilst running the upcoming benchmarks, we tested the power usage, fan noise and temperatures of this mini PC. We got a very low 23.7 watts power usage, 41 decibels peak noise and 36 degrees centigrade peak temperature. As always, we run a few benchmarks so that we can compare the performance with other products. We will be comparing the Pico Box Mini, which shares the same processor but different RAM configuration. We start benchmarks with PCMark, which tests real-life day-to-day tasks from web browsing and video conferencing, through to working with large documents, image editing and more. We can see that the Pico Box Mini is slightly ahead by just 87 points. Putting them side by side you would barely notice any difference. Cinebench measures the performance of single or multi-cores on the processor. We again see the Pico Box Mini slightly outperform the Pro with 911 versus 904. We do see a larger performance difference on multi core with 2164 versus 2848. The RAM type definitely helps with a performance increase here. 3D Mark tests the CPU and GPU performance. We see that the Pico Box Mini is slightly ahead in the scores with 360 versus 349 on the Pico Box Pro. Again, you would not notice much difference when compared side by side. Like the Ace PC Pico Box Mini, the Pro can handle 4K video playback with no issues. We are playing a YouTube 4K test video and there are no frame drops at all. You can be assured that any 4K media will display exactly how it should. While the Pico Box Pro is not a gaming mini PC, like the Mini, it is okay for very light gaming. We are again testing the awesome Double Dragon running at 4K and it had no issues running at a full 60 frames per second. We tried something more challenging with Ocean On 2, with the settings at 720p on low graphics. We are getting a solid 60 frames here as well, but keep in mind the lower resolution and graphics levels. For emulation, we already know from the Pico Box Mini that these processors are actually quite good for emulation. You can run all the 8 and 16 bit systems just fine. You can even run the PlayStation 1 emulator Duck Station and increase the rendering resolution up to 1080p and higher depending on the game. We also saw good performance on the Dolphin emulator with mostly full frames per second. For the PSP emulator PPSSPP, we also saw good performance. God of War will run full speed on one times rendering resolution and depending on the game you can increase it to improve visual quality. 
And for PS2 emulation, it's unfortunately not powerful enough to run most games at full speed. Nevertheless, it is very impressive having these systems being able to run on this hardware. We will sum up the review with our final thoughts now. As with the Mini, the Pro is not great for gaming. Whilst you can play some light games, you will struggle with anything higher. A good alternative is a game streaming service such as Xbox or Lunar services which work great. For emulation, the Pro is very capable. You get decent performance on Duck Station, Dolphin and PPSS PP emulators. And of course, all of the earlier classic console and computer systems. And for media playback, it is also very good. We saw perfect 4K playback with no lags. The fan is very quiet and definitely not something you can hear even with the audio on low. And it is great for home or office work. From everything from your child's homework up to working with large office documents, even some light image editing. Having the option to install a 2.5 inch drive provides more storage for these tasks. Which model should you buy, the Mini or the Pro? The Pro is a little cheaper, so if you want to save some money then go for that. You do have the advantage of having space for a 2.5 inch drive which is great for the storage, but you do lose out on the third HDMI port and second Ethernet port, but you do get an extra USB 2 port. With the Mini you get a bit more connectivity which is perfect for a triple monitor setup, using it as a media server for example. The Mini was also faster in our tests, especially for multi-core performance. It does depend on your requirements with this, both have their advantages and disadvantages. Personally, I prefer the Mini for its size and connectivity. Let us know in the comments which model you would buy, and don't forget you can order them both from our stores at droix.co.uk and droix.net for international shipping. We have a Christmas sale running at the moment, so you can grab both of them for a great price. Thanks for watching our review, don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss out on our next video. See you back in the next one.